Oh man, it's 10 o'clock on a Sunday night. So it's time for We're Talking Watches with the Last Dragon. I am Richard Prophet. Welcome back to the Prophet Rolex and Real Estate Channel. So that's right, it's Sunday night at 10 o'clock, and we're about to jump right into it. So let's roll the best intro in the watch game and we'll get into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is still without a doubt the best intro in the watch game. Thanks again, D. D. Steffel, part of our family here on the channel. He made that for me. Thanks again. Thanks again, D. So anyway, the holidays, the holidays are officially underway in New York City. And uh, I'm feeling great, man. You know, I'm feeling great. I uh I got my new gazelles on. Now you might say, Prophet, what do you mean? Those are the glasses you always wear. Nah. So what happened was I had my original pair of these. I had lost them in uh in Costco actually. And uh and uh, so I had bought another pair, but these are the old gold ones, the solid gold ones. I had bought the two-tone ones because I couldn't find these, but I, I'm walking around doing some early shopping. Uh, a couple of days ago, and lo and behold, I've always been looking for them, and boom, I pop in, and boom, right in your face, scream, profit, profit, profit. There they was, so I had to have them. So here they go. Home, home, home of the original. They're back on my face. Man, I really enjoy them. So anyway, uh, before we jump into tonight's video, pour yourself a little drop in a proper crystal glass. And we'll jump right into it. Cheers, fam. Mm, that is smooth. Oh, you know what? If any of you out there looking for gift ideas, I actually just picked this up today in the liquor store, 12 years old. But it comes with these two nice little glasses. It's like the same price as always when you buy the 12, but it comes with these two glasses as like a gift set for the holidays. I think it's super cool and you could give them, give them out. I know everybody always enjoys a bottle as a gift for the holidays. And especially with these gift sets, with these two little glasses, I think it's super cool. So yeah, I bought one of these, you know, wrap it, put it under the tree. Uh, you know, yeah, nice little gift set, uh, you know, for your brother-in-law, you know, whatever like that, you know what I mean? One of those gifts that, yeah. So anyway, that's where it is. So tonight's video, So last week, no, not last week, uh, week before last, the last episode of I Got a New Rolex, uh, we had a, we featured the young man named, by the name of Thomas, Thomas. Um, we featured him and he got his, uh, he got a brand new Batman out of the AD, Batman on the Jubilee out of his AD. He was a young man and, uh. And his story was he had he had no per, no he had a very tiny purchase history. He had a small purchase history at that AD of three hundred bucks, and no watches, no nothing. He just came out of nowhere, had a purchase history of three hundred bucks, and uh, he was able to get a brand new Batman on a Jubilee from his AD. And uh, I was like, wow, you know, Thomas, that's that's super rare. And uh, I want, how'd you do it? You know, what'd you do? What'd you, and what was, what was it that you bought for 300 bucks that, uh, you know, that allowed you to get a phone call 
for a Batman, a brand new Batman, uh, what exactly did you buy? Did you buy a napkin or something? What's the, the secret thing that you have to buy from your AD that can trigger this response? So tonight, Thomas, Thomas has wrote me an email and told me exactly what it is he did and what is it, what is it exactly that he purchased so he was allowed to get a brand new Rolex from his AD, all right? So as a shout out to Thomas, what's up, Thomas? This is your video. The, I got a new Rolex from a couple of weeks back. I'll include it at the end of this video so you can watch it again. So Thomas, this is a shout out to you, my friend. Uh, in honor of Thomas, I'm gonna take the landlord bluesy off mm, and uh, put on the Batman on a Jubilee. My rag there, okay. Amazing watch, beautiful watch. GMT, Batman GMT there. There you go, Thomas. You and I are twinning, my brother. You and I are twinning tonight. All right, Thomas. Let's get into Thomas's email. How to get a brand new Rolex from your AD. All right, so here we go. Thomas writes, Prophet, you made a great video about weightless being BS. Oh, yeah, that was a fantastic video. That video got actually a lot of views and a lot of responses, a lot of People agreeing with me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, they got also got some copies. There's a few guys that went on the internet, copied my title, but uh, that's fine. Hey, as long as I know, you know, they're watching the dragon, so it's all right. Remember, this channel isn't for everybody; it's only for the initiated. So, all right, here we go. So, Prophet, you made a great video about weightless being BS. I'll include that at the end of this video. So you could watch that again. All right. I think it's time you make a new video explaining how to give anyone the best chance of getting a Rolex. I've typed this up based on my experience and hours of research regarding all the advice I've ever heard. Now, again, be aware that Thomas just got a new brand new Batman on a Jubilee from his AD with no spend his with a $300 spend history. So he is actually speaking from experience. It's not just theory. This is real world application. All right, so number one, what you must do, dress nice and be polite. Number two, know what you're talking about. Three, have one watch you want and don't allow them to sell you a substitute. Mm. Okay, I see. I don't know if something else comes in that I that I like, you know, might pick that up too. But anyway, uh, make sure you have a reason for wanting it, even if it's not the real reason. Example, if you want a GMT Master 2, say you want it for work, dual time zones, because you're in finance, okay? I even told them I didn't want the Pepsi because I find the colors childish. <laughs> all right, all right, Thomas, I see you. Uh, number four, be patient. All right. Five, reinvent yourself, meaning come off as Rolex material as much as you can, regardless of your age, because Thomas is a young guy. Uh, uh, regardless of your age, income, or anything else, be inventive as you need to be. Number six, leave a positive review before getting your watch on Yelp. Google, etc. Oh wow, that's a good one, Thomas. I, I, the dragon, has never have never even thought about that. 
Uh, for me, I talked about the nice team at the AD and how pleasant the experience was in their store. That's actually a good one. That's a good one, Thomas. That's one on the dragon. Good one. Uh, number seven, read Google and Yelp reviews and find the best salesperson there you can find who seems to be the most helpful and then go in when they're there. Okay. Stress, number eight, stress you are not a flipper. I'm no flipper scum. I'm no flipper scum. Uh, stress you're not a flipper. Cheers to that. If you've never... Uh, if you've never bought anything there, they have to trust you. Earn it. Okay. Number nine, refer to the watch as the number, never the nickname. Example, 126710BLNR instead of the Batman. Okay. Well, you know what's, you know what? Um, you might be onto something there because in an AD, I've never heard it referred to as the Batman. I've heard it referred to as the Blue Black uh, or the BLNR. You follow? I've never heard. They. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they know the terms. You know, Batman, Pepsi, whatever. Um, but they're probably not allowed to use those terms. They can only use, you know, Rolex specific branding. You know, so you might be onto something there again. Another another good point. Uh, number ten, follow up every. Did we cover them? Yeah, okay. Number ten, follow up every so often. No set time, but once a month is more than enough. I didn't even do that. Don't annoy. Okay, don't annoy. Don't become a pest. Number eleven, know your place, meaning don't ask for a Daytona as your first watch. <laughs> I decided I wanted something better than a standard landlord watch. What a yay, that, hey Thomas, you lost me there, brother. But okay, you hey hey. Uh, but knew I couldn't get and didn't want a Daytona, Pepsi, Sermon, etc. But may have a chance for the Batman. Go into the AD. Extremely important. Cold calling is perhaps the dumbest thing you can do. Also stressing your local as important so they know they'll see you again. Okay. Number 13. Explain that you will be ready to pull the trigger the moment you get the call. Okay. I'm pretty sure they hear that one all day though, so. Uh, now, here we go, here we go, Thomas, here we go. Here is the nitty gritty. But what you should do, buy some other stuff, even if it's cheap like I did. All right, so this is exactly what Thomas bought. Let's get into that. Remember, he only spent $300 and he was able to buy this watch at retail. All right. Number one, buy some other stuff, even if it's cheap like I did to get your name in their system and show them that you won't just buy a watch and never return. You know what, That's right. he's right about the system because uh, whenever I go into, let's say, uh, like there's two different ADs, I deal with two like different company names. So whenever I go into one AD, they'll punch in my name and whatever I've purchased there uh, comes up. And then whenever I go to another AD, whatever I purchased there, you know, your purchase history comes up. And the second AD, like it's in Atlanta, it's in Miami, um, they also sell jewelry as well. So uh, whether you're buying watches or your jewelry, that all comes up under your spend history. So that is actually a good idea, even if you don't have a watch history, but you don't want to ask for a watch and then they'll punch up your name and your name is not even in their system. So this is actually a nice little hack, Thomas. Thank you for that. All right. Uh, number, what are we, number two? Okay. Uh, wear a Rolex or hot model, even if you have one to show that you're not a flipper. I'm no flipper scum. 
Uh, if you don't have one, stress you are not a flipper. I am not a flipper scum. No flipper scum here. Rolex man, no flipper scum. All right. Number three, Thomas. Che wait, I got to cheers. Cheers to that. No flipper scum here. No flipper scum here. Mm. Oof. That's good stuff. Smooth. All right. Uh... Yeah, but that's the problem. You know, you get something tasty like this, smooth. You know, before you know it, the whole bottle, you know, you're down the whole bottle. And, uh, yeah, that's the story. All right, here we go. Where are we? Number three, use them as much as you can for things you need, want, slash want, okay. Wallet, pen, gifts, etc. Again, goes back to Get your name in them, their system. Number four, find an AD that will give you the best chances. Uh, small, uh, in parentheses, smaller market than a big city, hopefully family owned with few locations. All right. Number five, follow the AD on Instagram. Ooh, never thought about that one. Another good one, Thomas. <gasps> Be active, find the owner or manager or salesperson on social media, including LinkedIn. Meet as many people there as you can, even if it's just one so people with influence know you. Hey, look at Thomas networking. Look at Thomas networking. Look at this one, the Profit Rolex and Real Estate Channel. Not only are we talking watches, but we're getting networking advice. All right, all right, we're getting teaching networking here on the channel. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, what are we, number five? No, number six. Explain you know it will take a while and that you're perfectly fine with that. Number seven. Show your enthusiast and have a short story about how you got into watches, specifically Rolex. Okay. All right. What you shouldn't do or don't need to do. Okay. Number one, bring gifts. This depends entirely on the situation. Not necessary. Number two, spend multiple thousands on junk slash stuff you don't want. If you have the money to play that game, then okay. Okay. But this is not the only way to succeed, and your viewers are likely people who can't or don't want to do this. Oh, he's talking about my viewers. Okay. Uh, but this is not the only way to succeed, and your viewers are likely people who can't or don't want to do this. Yeah, I mean, who wants to buy a watch that they don't really want just to get the watch they do want? You know, I know that's that's uh, that's happening. I know that's commonplace now. They. I mean, not so much now, but before, I, I would say maybe a year back, it was really commonplace. They would force a watch you didn't want down your throat to say, you know, you want this one, get this one. You know, that's not so much now, but about a year ago, it was really commonplace. Uh, all right. Uh, if you, the viewer, follows this, you've given yourself the best possible chance at getting a Rolex. As long as you're patient, you really should be offered one. All right, Thomas. That is Thomas's tips to get a new Rolex from your AD. And this is real life application applied by Thomas. And he has got one of these, the Batman, with no spend history. Well, he spent $300. Thomas. Uh, I would need you to email me exactly what you bought at your AD. Uh, I thought for some reason, I thought that you had sent it in this email, but I don't see it here. It's just telling me exactly what you did to get uh, off of the watch. But you didn't tell me exactly. I want you to email me exactly what it is you bought uh, with that $300 spend uh, that got you the watch. And uh, 
because I want to I want to show it to the family here. All right. That's it for me. Uh, before we go, I just want to say happy holidays. Happy holidays to everybody, everybody out there, everybody within the sound of my voice. Uh, you know, it's the holidays now. The holidays are officially underway worldwide. I mean, I said uh, happy holiday like after because here in the States, the holidays officially kick off um, after, you know, Thanksgiving. It's really the kickoff of the holidays. So I was speaking to my buddy, my buddy Peter, and he's from Scotland. And uh, I was like, oh, happy holidays, Peter. The, ho the holidays have jumped off. And stupid me, I didn't read He said, oh, prophet, you know, we don't have that holiday. I mean, you know, what's this fourth grade uh, history? Stupid me, I didn't realize Thanksgiving is an American holiday. <laughs> Hey, <clears throat> you know, I should have known. But anyway, I knew that, but I just, I don't know. But anyway, thanks, Peter. Well, now the holidays are officially underway. Christmas, New Year's for the whole world. So happy holidays. Everybody within the sound of my voice, everybody who's a part of this family here on the channel. And again, this channel's not for everybody, man. You know, it's not for everybody. Like, you know, I'm not out there trying to get thousands of views. I'm speaking only to the enlightened, to the initiated watch owner. All right, I'm your host, Richard Prophet, the last dragon of the watch community. This is the Prophet Rolex and Real Estate Channel. Cheers, man. Cheers, family.